Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are live, it seems. <clears throat> it appears that, and my phone says we're live. All right, looks like we're live, everybody. Gonna wait for some people to funnel in here, file in, funnel in, whatever. September 30th, really nice day out. Nice weather, looking outside of my office window, very nice. So, what's going on everybody? This is uh, the live weekly, weekly live, live weekly, and we got the Pomera, the Pomera keyboard, right here. This thing is really cool. I'm going to wait. Do I have a uh, microfiber cloth? Mm, I do not. That's nah, fine. Um, I'm going to wait till we start seeing some chat before we go ahead and show this. Uh, just Oh, Steven Prosser, man. Jesus. Start of the top of the hour every time. Um, yeah, thank you, Stephen, for always stopping by. Very much appreciated. Um, it looks like we have, we have, we have, we have. If I go here and go like that and do that thing and do that and then go like this, we have 10 people watching. That's not bad. That, eh? It's not, it's not bad. Anyways, we're going to get into some unboxings before you guys get in here because this is light. I don't know what this is. All these are legitimate unboxings. What we usually do, just something for fun, is when I get into the office before it's like 9 a.m., uh, before I go upstairs to my office, uh, downstairs is receiving. So I just steal a whole bunch of stuff and <laughs> come upstairs and unbox it for you guys. And if it, oh, it's larger than I'd have guessed. Yeah, JD Prunette, we'll get into that one second. Legitimate unboxings. Again, as always, if it's something bound by NDA, uh, I cannot show you. Oh, I can show you this. Oh, what is this? It's from Sony. It's from Sony. Okay. Uh, oh, cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they sent us the HUIS remote some time ago. And I think we'll save this for the actual unboxing. This is the Bluetooth dongle stand that charges it and connects via Bluetooth. It's a cradle actually for the e-ink home smart remote that's really cool i didn't know it came in its own box it's like an embossed hui oh that's what it looks like it's the cradle that's really cool let's keep this unboxed train going see what we got in here yeah jd it's quite big um the dm30 the e-ink version is not that big and it closes like a clamshell Boom, boom. This one closes just a straight kind of fold. Oh, what we got here? Oh. Quaderno. Uh, they might need this. I shouldn't take everything every time. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty good and I only take a few things, but um, yeah. Last one for the day. Legitimately unboxing these. It's okay. It's okay. I'll run down after. We're only playing around for half an hour here. Oh, okay. I guess the guys in the office ordered another one because we got another Pomera. I mean, it's the same one down here. Very nice. All right, that's it for the unboxings, everybody. So, Pomera. Yes, if you guys didn't know, King Jim has been around since 1920. Like, a long time ago. And this was before the war started and ended. Before Japan had a lot of uh, outside, you know, Western influence. McDonald's started rushing in and stuff. So I don't even know why they called the name King Jim, because they didn't use a whole lot of English pre-1940s in Japan. But it's called King Jim, and the Pomera keyboard came out in 2008. So this has actually been around for 14 years. Is that right? Two and then 20? Yeah, so this has been around for 14 years, this line of keyboards. They have a bunch, a bunch of them. They got ones that, like, that go, like, like on this on this weird 45 degree angle like rack assembly it's really cool they got a ton of these we only focus on the ones that are relevant and why pardon me and why this is relevant is because it's a direct successor to the dm200 now if you haven't noticed <clears throat> We do, I don't want to toot our own horn, toot toot, but we do have a little bit of in influence in the world of uh, technology. I and mean, we're not a huge channel. We're for e-readers and e-reader tech, we are. So we actually reached out to King Jim and we said, hey guys, it'd be nice if you added English to it <clears throat> because the DM200, the, pre the uh, pre successor, successor, predecessor, predecessor, um, previous version did not have English on it. This one does. We're going to get into that right now because... 
It's really cool. It has English on it. The e-paper one already came with English, but the LCD LED ones did not. They never had English on them, and now they do, which really just changes. Oh, wow, that's bright. Uh, it's really sunny right now. Can I put, like, a box up or something? I'm going to put a box up or something. Can I? Oh, sorry. Can I go like this? I didn't know. So it's such a nice day. What a complaint, huh? Such a nice day out. God. God, guys. <clears throat> if I can just put this box like that. Would that help? Where's it coming from? Oh, up there. Sorry, guys. Oh, my mom's here. Hello. Didn't know it was such a nice day today. I mean, like, that kind of helps. I got, like, windows in the office here, so... Ah, jeez. Alright, well... How about, like... How about that for now? That's not doing anything. Do I have a sheet? You know what? Stay, stay frosty, everybody. Hold on. I'm gonna put up some, uh, some stuff here. I apologize. I did not, uh, the sun just, like, blasted out all of a sudden. All of the sudden. I'm just kidding. It's all of a sudden. Okay, let's just make shift. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay. So, this is the Pomera. It starts right up when you open it. You're going to be seeing a lot of me in the reflection. I apologize about that. But uh, it's really hard to show this on camera because it doesn't lay flat as it shouldn't. Um, you know, oh, man, you want to take this off? Oh, I don't want to take this off. I don't want to take this off. Ooh, that is so rewarding. Oh, my God. If this was mine, I would never take that off. I love keeping factory seal stuff. You know, I have I have a TV. Actually, Mom, you would know that. Uh, if you see that TV that you guys put in the uh, living room there, um, it still has plastic on it. Like, you can vouch for it because it does. I don't take the plastic off of my stuff. If, it, if it's like the plastic on a steering wheel, <laughs> you buy a new car, you take that off because it's like a safety thing. But no, I don't take the plastic off of my stuff because um, it's just so much nicer with it, like all, you know, preserved and stuff like that. So, here it is, and I'll go to the menu here and show you all that it does have English right here. So, you can actually toggle between Japanese and English, which is really nice. That's That really just breaks the whole, that really changes the entire game. Because, yeah, the previous gens didn't have it. And you would have to buy the e-ink one. And the e-ink one is on such little stock now that it's virtually... It's completely out of stock, and when you can find one, they're very expensive now. So you can do things like date and time, file management. You can view full screen. You can do outline, so you can kind of have this ledger on the side. Still there after all these years, says my mom. It, it is. It is. I, I kid you not. I, I, got, I got that plastic on the screen. You can go back to full screen. Oh, wait. Why didn't that do it? I'll have to kill the outline. There we go. Um, we can go and do scenario, so we can do more of a top-down if you wanted to do that. That's kind of useless i don't know why they would have a, a portrait layout like that that's i guess there's you know a use case for that comparison should be a side by side if you oh if you had two working sheets and we're going to get into all this in the review of course uh what else do we have here we have partition that should split it in half there we go oh that's weird but it's duplicating okay that's kind of strange and you can do all the same keyboards keystrokes you can go Control a for all and you can do shift for caps and stuff like that. Now, although there is some Japanese characters on the keys, they are less prominent than the actual keys themselves. Because in Japan, as you can see, my normal keyboard as well, they have the Japanese character smaller. Because even in Japan, you write in English. It's one of the four writing systems. So you would type in English. So, yeah, it's it's there's no learning curve. Now, there is a problem with this because this is not a, what do you call it, a USA uh, keyboard layout. It's a J-I-S-T or something like that. Things are going to be in a different place. So, the at symbol is, I can't even find it right now. Where is it? Uh, the at symbol is here. Like, sh sh yeah, there it is, right there. But it should be here, number two. If you go here and go shift two, it'll be the at symbol, even though it has the quotations. And that won't be the at symbol. That'll be squiggle bracket. I don't know what that's called. Because although you can switch the layout, this is a Ameri see like this is exclamation mark, right? And then that's the at and that's the number sign and seven should be ampersand. But it's not because six is ampersand. You know what I mean? So it is 
software wise a USA keyboard mechanically it is written in Japanese but everything's in English the so shift and control caps lock etc because they use pretty much standardized keyboards over here as well so you can open other files you can save save as property close it is very kind of Microsoft wordy you have undo redo cut copy paste switch find replace you can do fine you can do you know find all replace all, all that stuff uh, we'll do some typing in a second. You can go to the word list, look dictionary. Tools is cool. You have calendar. And you look at your calendar. You can write stuff. You can go on this day. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I have a party on the... I'm, a, I'm not a very good typist. Uh, party on the 5th. And then you, you know, save that and you X out. And then when you go here, you're like, do, 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 do. Oh, I have a party. Oh, I have a party today. Oh, don't miss it. Like that. So you, you, you have a couple little things. There's no apps on here. Not gonna be able to download apps, but it is nice that they do give you some things. You can do vertical and horizontal, and you can select your style. I would, I don't know why you would ever do vertical, aka portrait, like, like that, because the keyboard doesn't swivel. So you're gonna be, like, if you see me in the reflection, you be like crinking your neck. Oh, that actually hurt. I did that too quick. I'm not 17 anymore. Um, and you can uh, upload things. You can. Oh, I don't know what app connection is. Connect to app. Hold on a second. You know what? I wonder. I haven't checked this yet. If we go to Google Play and I go Pomera. Oops, Palmer. Pomera. Oh, sweet. I didn't know that. Genuinely did not know that. Pomera Link. We are definitely going to cover that in the review because it looks like you have a keyboard. Okay, so it looks like you're able to actually write things and save them and view them on your PC. Uh, your your phone or p potentially your p I'm gonna turn that down, potentially your PC. Oops, that's way too low. There you go. There's all my people messaging me, and um, it looks like, yeah, cool. I hope it's in English. A lot of these apps recently are in English because Japan they use English here, right? So, um, it looks like you have QR code, uh, text file, C CSV, so it runs multiple formats, which is very nice. JD Prunet, the keyboard looks close to the old notebook size. If you use one before, does it compare? Well, if I grab the keyboard like that, like that, and put the keyboard here lined up, it is a full-size keyboard. So, and what I mean by that is if I line up right there with that line, okay, well, sure, JD, you're right. It's like an 87.5 to 90% scaled version. So here, look. So we line that up and we bring it right down there. It's like what? An inch and a half less because of the width of the caps, the width of the shift, the width of like, you know, the numerical characters. As, you know what? I think the actual keys, you guys want metric or inches? I'll just say... 15, 16 millimeters for a standard key versus 15 millimeters. So every single key is precisely one millimeter smaller than, yeah, no problem, JD, than an actual keyboard. But that's fine. I mean, you don't get all this fancy stuff, home and page up and obviously a numpad. But you know what you can do? Look at this. It's pretty funny. This is a keyboard clamshell typewriter, right? You can connect a Bluetooth keyboard to it. So you could actually prop this up on your desk and, you know, precariously perch your sandwich and your coffee cup right on this keyboard and use a Bluetooth keyboard off camera here and go do 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 while still using this. And it has Bluetooth. So that's something that I didn't even know until I looked at it right now <laughs> because I actually didn't know it was there until I was just talking to you guys. We just got this. We just got this. Here, let me talk to you guys for a sec. Hold on. There we go. We just got this. So I actually don't know anything about it. I know about King Jim as a company. I know about the products. And I you know, have a good idea of the grasp about this. But we've got... If you noticed, I think we did... The team and I did like a couple nine-hour days. Um, because there was a lot of stuff that came out. There was a lot of stuff. If you looked at our channel, we did like four videos the other day, three yesterday... A lot of stuff's coming out. Kindle Scribe, everyone's scrambling all over the place. Uh, Michael and I will be talking about that on our live. So um, we got a bunch of stuff going on. So, like, you know, apologize we didn't 
fully do our homework on this. And to be honest, I didn't see this winning. Like, actually, because if I go to the channel, um, out of everyone who voted, uh, 130 votes, this only won by like a couple percent as of last night. It was actually going to be the Sony Wena smartwatch. And it's funny that you guys would rather see... It's funny that you guys would rather see the freaking Y-Ben than hang out and talk with me. What does that say? What does that say about the Y-Ben and what does that say about me? We have the Y-Ben here, by the way. I don't know what to do with it. And I would like your guys' opinion on it. Does anyone want this? Like... Just got a message. Oh, sweet. My friend just said something arrived. Does anybody want this? <laughs> because we can't exactly do a contest for it and it's not oh and this is the one by the way because you guys aren't asking about the Pamera I'll just show you this is the one with the mechanical keys and no touch screen and like no Wi-Fi and no Bluetooth and no nothing and like two gigs on board storage and like a 512 MB of RAM we can't sell it. it doesn't really exist it's like a prototype thing um, we would like it to go to someone who wants an e-reader and we don't want to dedicate a full contest to it. So maybe like, you guys want to, <laughs> I don't know, do a bidding war as a Steven, you want it, man? Like, I don't know. Um, we're going to have to think it like, what are you guys' suggestions on that? Would like to hear from you guys on that. Typically we do raffles and we do contests and we do unboxing e-paper, but we do all that anyways. And right now I think we have like a Xiaomi we're giving away and we did an unboxing e-paper recently. We have a paperweight on raffle. So like, uh, yes, Steven, it does have an SD card. It does. And this is the one we're not selling. The one that we are going into business with, with y -Band, the one we have a distribution agreement with, is the one with a touchscreen and a glow light. This one has like that weird... You look at our channel. This is the one I think the guys labeled, Why Ben? Why Bother? So, um, which actually, Why Ben got a kick out of. Uh, this is the one that's just like a silly prototype thing. It's called the P60D or L or something. Anyways, uh, I would like to know, we're going to do a poll literally after this. And I'll do a poll personally on YouTube. I usually don't jump on there, but I'm going to do a poll. And I'm going to ask what you guys want us to do with it because I can't for the life of me figure out. No one in the office wants it. <laughs> so, you know, and we can donate it. Sure, but I, I want to go into the right person that can actually utilize it and read it, you know, and, and make use of it, you know what I mean? So what else we got here? We got line number. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, I remember the, the previous one did that. So if you go, Peter is here. Petter. Petter is here. Eating potatoes and, I don't know, sandwiches. See, I'm not a good typist. Really not. Did I put a C? Wait. Oh, my God. And here he is, uh, yeah, I'm terrible at typing, is uh, sitting down, and I am now on line number five, comma, right, question, oh, that's not where the shift is, oh, look at that, oh, that's why my muscle memory, check that out, shift was right here, right, I to the left, of the numbers and now the shift is on the right oh so i was like trying to do a you know what do you call no you know i i, I j cats i'm not a good typist i'm i know that i'm not i don't even do it right you know what i mean i don't line my fingers up and go la 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 la, la. i don't know how to do that you know people are like oh technically your ring finger should be a sign for ellen oh like i don't do that i can't do that um but, um, yeah, the, the keyboard is different. It's a little bit different. Uh, JD, is it is the bright light or that screen pretty glossy? Uh, both. If I go to menu and I go to tools. Wait, where's the brightness? Backlight. So this is the full spectrum, guys. Oh, my God, there I am. <laughs> um, so that's off, essentially, super dark. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five, and completely screw with the white balance of this video and be like, and just be white. No, this is an LCD LED version. You know, this is not an e-ink version. The e-ink version is only the DM30. See me there? It's a DM30 and it closes one, two, down like a clamshell. And it's really cool. It ends up being a little square. We do still sell it. King Jim has let us know that the price has grossly, grossly increased to no fault of their own. Stock is limited. Production is like almost next to nothing. And if you want one, it's going to be 
hundred dollars. That is not a joke. And these things used to be like three fifty. That's why it's kind of just better to buy this one, the DM two fifty, because it's it's just faster and quicker, and you can do more with it. You know what I mean? Um, the DM thirty, if you can get your hand on one, it's good. DM two fifty. It's really good, but it's not e-ink. What are you guys doing reviewing it? Well, we review lots of stuff. So you have password, file management as well. You can go through the device memory and the SD card, and you can uh, search by stuff too. And now there's some stuff that a lot of you guys would probably know that I don't know. ATOK input settings. Now there's a bunch of things you can do here. That's for Japanese. I understand that between Romaji and Kana. That would be Katakana and the way to, you know, trigger into Kanji. Now there's a bunch of different things here. There's MSIME and there's ATOK. So these are like, you know, uh, uh, what do you call those things? Um, oh, I can't remember. Not plugins, not scripts. Uh, um, regional, you know what I mean? If it's... Uh, uh, Korean, Hangul, it would be, you know, Hangul hyphen MSIME or something like that. What are they called? They're called like keyboard, um, oh, I forgot the name, but yeah, and if it's like, uh, you know, if you're gonna write Polsky, it'd be PL hyphen whatever. It's like the way and the systems and the language that understands the way you're typing or the keyboard should be, uh, the... The, oh man, I can't remember the name. There's a name for it. Does anybody know what you call those things? The things, you know, like the 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 the, the Japan scripts and the English scripts. Uh, the U.S., you know. Oh man, I forgot. It's a good thing not a lot of people watching today because I can't remember what you call them. They're not plugins. They're called something. Well, while you guys aren't asking questions, I'm gonna look it up. What do you call those things? Um, A T O K. M S I M E they're called uh, Ah word processor software no 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 keyboard something or other Duh, I don't remember. Anyways, if you guys know, leave a comment down below. Yeah, JD, the screen is pretty glossy. It is a gloss screen. You could put a screen protector on it. They sell screen protectors. Yep, they they absolutely do. Um, I don't know what size screen this is. Okay, I haven't measured yet. Hold on. Here it is. Here's my tape measure. Let me see how good I am here. Yeah, I can't remember, Mom. Plugins? Systems? Oh, my God. It's driving me nuts. Somebody answer me. Uh, that has got to be... Oof. That's bigger than 6.7. Diagonal. I'm going to say... I'm not looking at anything. You can see some of my screen, too. That's got to be 8.1. Is that right? Let's see. Right in the corner. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm off. Yeah, I'm off. I thought it was so good. I'm not. Uh, let's see. Oh, so, without scratching it. 7.1, 7.2? Eh. I was off by 0 0.9. <laughs> As if that's impressive. What else we got here? We have uh, enable. Candidate character size 24 dot. Yeah, I that's beyond. That's if you guys are like really into the, um, you know, the technical stuff when it comes to text. Engines and languages and all that. Oh, cool. You can do line spacing. I didn't know that either. You can do half line. Oh, look at that. It's even got a little menu. So you can really scrunch it up like that. Change the line spacing. And they might. Do they have text direction? That was cool. Let's see what that is. Hey, you can do Japanese style. So if we go to here uh, and we go down to character setting, we can do horizontal and vertical. That, oh, why I keep... How do you switch it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. So you can write downwards because legend... No, not that. Uh, some Japanese writing is vertical. It's up and down. But uh, for the most part, it is just um, the same. You write from left to right, just like think. You would go this button here bring up the menu nope shift control control shift do, do, do. nope oh, i have to switch it so you go to input settings do, 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 do. input setting Romaji. let me turn off those line line number okay You guys aren't asking anything, by the way. Well, that's fine. You can just chat. We can just sit here. Just sit here and do nothing. 
Let's see. If I go shift that. Nope. Control that. Nope. Oh, yeah. I'm on keyboard. I'm on, what do you call The USA keyboard. Key setting. USA layout. There you go. You can disable the USA layout. So that's, and it, you know what? Um, I know I set that up, but it was so passive to me and it was so, I didn't really notice it. It has a setting for the USA layout, not any other country and not even Canada. And Canada has a different keyboard layout. They actually do. If you do Quebec, um, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like the quotations turn into things that are not quotations. Like seriously. So can I do this now? No, nope. no. Nope. Control shift that man. How do you switch that? Anyways, we'll get into the full review, of course. But um, yeah, this is the. Um, it really is, it really is a nice keyboard. Everything is so fast, and because it doesn't have like, this doesn't have like a, like an operating system. It's not like Android based or you know, it's not Linux based in, in a traditional. It's a it's a keyboard. So it's not going to be like a smartphone experience the way that they are uh, laid out. The device has Nintendo 3DS vibe. Yeah, it does. La Via. I'm going to say your name right. La Via La Vie. It does. It is very nice clamshell design. It's built well. It's heavy. I like it. It's really heavy. I'm going to get off camera here. Clamshell design doesn't come all the way down. It's hinged very tightly. Very rewarding to close. Has little stoppers, about a millimeter and a half, maybe two mil to stop from. Might be able to see it. Uh, maybe see a pass through. There you go. See? Right. Where am I? Where, which one is it at? There? That one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, full SD, but you can use adapters, of course. USB C. Nice hinge. Uh, this time, there's no batteries. With the Pamera DM30. It ran off of AA batteries. Hey, Ace! Wow, I don't think I've seen you for a while. And why they did that on the DM30 is so that it was declared non-DG, which stands for dangerous goods. Things that are utilizing button cell and cell batteries, so AAA, AA with like a CR2032 watch battery, those are considered not DG because they don't have lithium ion on board. So you can ship it anywhere in the world to emerging markets, you know, District of Congo or wherever you want, and it was not held back, and you didn't have to use a $200 per 500 gram courier. Uh, DHL handles DG, but they charge a lot of money. This is DG. This is considered dangerous goods because it has a lithium-ion battery on board, but it's more convenient. It starts to run out of juice, plug it in. You can plug it in while you're working. The DM30, you couldn't because it has batteries. It has like a lock with you swipe it down. It wasn't a matter of being behind the curve in terms of technological advancements. That wasn't it. The fact was that it was to prevent it falling into a category that would, you know, hinder its status. So they actually got rid of the DG, put batteries in it. Bob is your uncle. That's it, everybody. I think we're done. We have not had one question. Barely anybody watching. I know the, the choices this week were a little bit dry because we have been getting a lot of products. Granted, they aren't... <clears throat> you know what? We haven't really been getting a lot of e-readers. I'm looking at the back end here. We got, like, the Sony Wena watch. We got the new stylus from Wacom. Uh, um, uh, iReader. Uh, we got the typewriter in. We got the Y-Band. The high read gaze, we already did a, uh, a live. So, like, there wasn't much to choose from. We do appreciate you guys all stopping by all the same. But, uh, yeah, there, honestly, there wasn't a whole lot to choose from, unfortunately. So, thanks for stopping by either way. Really appreciate it. Um, if you want to grab a Pamera, it is available on the site. Uh, if you want to get your um, <clears throat> voices horse. Is it coarse or horse? This is some good tea. I like this one. Super bitter. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Got some raffles going on. We got a contest going on. We got lots of stuff on the channel. We got constant content. Mudita has just dropped a bunch of products off at our door yesterday. We just finished one. We've been working like, uh, you know, I don't know worker bees or something. Because, yeah, it's been it's been pretty crazy lately. It's been very busy. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Really do. Thank you guys so much. If you want to ask any questions, we'll be here for a little bit. 
Ace, thank you so much for stopping by. My mom, thanks for stopping by. Uh, La Via La V, thank you for stopping by. Oh, horse, there you go. Yeah, I was like, horse? Why didn't it sound right? I'm losing my um, English idioms. Is that what you call them? Or like, I don't even know the word I'm trying to think of. I don't even know the thing that I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. If people didn't script write stuff for me, I'd be lost. JD Prunette, J Cats. Oh, yeah, no problem, uh, JD. Steven, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, oh, man. Steven's right, man. The, the old Pamera. When we got into business with King Jim, they were like, yeah, guys, you know, you're a perfect fit. Goody reader. You guys sell e-readers. Oh, man, this is great. We had these Pomeras, and we got them by the boxes. Like big, chunky boxes full of Pomeras. And they were only like 300 bucks. Hi, Mom. And um, now they're like $800. And you know what it is? It's COVID tax. It is. It's happened to everything. And my mom just messaged me today, and she says, like, gas in Canada on the mainland is like 240 a liter. What the heck? That's like the UK prices. And we never had that. It was like a dollar 29, you know what I mean before. So it's like doubled. Um and yeah, it's covid tax, you know, these cars that shouldn't have been this much or this much, Pokemon cards people buying for 4 million dollars, just ridiculous. So yeah, like all things considered, it has affected every facet of the consumer electronic the consumer product world. Down to e-readers themselves, you know, it's hard to sell cheap e-readers. The Pamera is now fairly expensive for this one the old one's eight hundred dollars it's just it, it's the way things are going it's just everything's becoming more expensive so yeah thank you jd thank you my mom thank you steven i already thanked you guys thank you very much for stopping by uh we'll have, try to have some better choices for next week i honestly don't know what e-readers are coming in next we got the three mudita things uh we have the sony smartwatch uh oh rodrigo escobar will you get a test unit for the new kindle scribe Am I allowed to say anything? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not saying anything. Yeah. Yes, we will be getting something prior to the release. No, we won't be uploading anything until we are allowed to do so. Steven, where are you from, man? Steven Prosser. I can't remember. Uh, Rodrigo, yes, we will be getting things prior to the release. And um, we get it ahead of time so we can, uh, you know... My pen looks great. I don't see your hate for it. Oh, hold on, Snail Slow. Uh, we will be getting it so we can do some comparisons and some videos ahead of time. So, no, so Snail Slow 69. Not the Y Bend that was on the channel that had like the touchscreen and anything and everything. This one, the one with the clicky buttons. This one is bad. It's just bad. Um, and they're not even selling it. They said they they're like, oh, this is when they sent it to us. There was two white, yellow boxes, and I was like, oh, cool, it sent us an extra one. And then we opened this one. We're like, Boo. come on, bloop. And it was like, oh, what is this? And we messaged them. Oh, mission. Oh yeah, you're right. You're really close. Oh no, mission, man. You're past that line, Stephen, where it's actually cheaper. I think it ends at uh, the northern. Uh, it would like Coquitlam, Poco. Uh, Maple Ridge past Maple Ridge it gets cheaper for you doesn't it? like 25 cents or something because down in the southern cities where you go uh, you know Surrey Langley Abbotsford it it um it it does a like my mom gets it 25 cents cheaper on the island but if you're in the mainland the lower the lower mainland it's actually the full pot right but you're just outside that line so um, if you're in the mainland if you're like Burnaby on like Willingdon oh man you're paying a lot of money Typically, the Willingdon gas stations are fairly expensive. I'll lean you in. Hi. What are you guys are funneling in now, man? We're, just, we're already done. Um, I was going to ask you, now that everyone... Price of gas here is $6.78 regular. Oh, right. Imperial gallons. 3.75 or 4? Imperial gallon is different than a metric gallon. Yeah, Chilliwack, it gets cheaper. Thanks, Mom. That's right. Uh, what are we sitting at for Ace of Base? Yeah, it's basically the same. I hear you, man. Let's see. A678. Just we'll go divide by four. 169 a liter? Dude, you got nothing to complain about. Ace, you got nothing? Okay. Granted, when I used to go visit my grandma down in the States in Shoreline, um, it was like 389 a gallon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, okay. Comparable to what you used to pay, Ace? Yeah, it's pretty bad. But comparable to what we're paying in Canada right now, it's pretty expensive. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys, so much. Um, if you guys want this, why, Ben? I don't know. 
You guys want to have a bidding war for it? Send some donations right now. First person to donate gets it. No, I take that back. Don't do that. Um, or unless you guys want to do a bidding war, that'd kind of be fun. How do we restructure that? Because, yeah, we'll ship it to you. Um, I can't really do anything with it. I want that now, Ace. What, the gas price or this? Because you can't reference things when you chat here. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. We're going to be doing a poll. We'll see if anyone uh, wants to... I don't have anything about... I do not have a comment. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. You're just saying what the gas price is? Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> it's chatting. I love chatting with you guys. Thanks so much, everybody. Lee, for stopping by last minute. Rodrigo, um, Ace, Steven, my mom. Not a minute. And then a minute. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Pick a number between one and three.